Washington Post, um, once a fine newspaper, no longer is. So there was a story on Kamala Harris written by a reporter named Ben Terrace. And in the story, uh, Kamala Harris denigrated people in prison. Okay? And basically said some dopey things uh, and was making fun, mocking prison inmates. So apparently Terrace filed the story the way it went down. Well, the Washington Post took it off. (laughs) It took it off. But some people found out about the original story, and it became a social media thing. So the Washington Post had to put it back. Now, they called up the Washington Post, they conservative people, um, Reason Magazine, which I think is more, um, they're not conservative, they're, uh, what do you call it, Rand Paul-ish. Anyway, um, so they uh, said, hey, why'd you do that? Washington Post couldn't answer. So that brings us to an Axios, that's a website, report, that says trust in social media has now hit an all-time low of 27%. This is based off information compiled by a communications firm named Edelman. So I like to source everything I tell you so you know where I'm getting it. So uh, 56% of Americans agree with the statement journalists and reporters are purposely trying to mislead people by saying things that are false. All right, we all know that's true. 58% think most news organizations are more concerned with supporting ideology than informing the public. Of course, that's true. Money, it's all about money, money, money. My pillow guy, you know him, you've seen him. I think he's got his own show on Fox, (laughs) Mike Lindell. All right, he's suing the uh, vicious and irresponsible Daily Mail uh, because the Daily Mail said that Mike was having uh, some kind of an arrangement with an actress, Jane Krakowski, all right, some kind of romance. Well, Ms. Krakowski and Lindell said, we don't know each other. We've never met each other. So Lindell now has hired uh, some big-time lawyers to go after the Daily Mail He says that the report hurt him, his business, his reputation, and everything else. I'm going to follow this. I hope the Daily Mail is absolutely the worst. Missouri. All right, so you remember the case of Mark and Patricia McCloskey. They had the guns when Black Lives Matter broke into their housing development by ripping the gate off, and they... She said to the Black Lives Matter people, we have guns. You better not bother us. Well, uh, the St. Louis Circuit Attorney Kimberly Gardner charged them with felonies. And then Ms. Gardner used that to raise money for Ms. Gardner. (laughs) So now the state of Missouri has said, you, Ms. Gardner, can't prosecute the McCluskeys. Two court rulings. Can't do it. That means the McCluskeys probably get off. Good. Well, Joe Biden is going to be president, and we may be in for some economic uncertainty. That's why now more than ever, I recommend you diversify with gold and silver. The only company I recommend is American Hartford Gold. So please call them right now and tell them Bill O'Reilly sent you, and they will give you up to $1,500 of free silver on your first order. Now, since I've been recommending American Hartford Gold, gold itself up over 40%, silver up over 60%. So don't wait. Call 866-501-5201. That's 866-501-5201. Or text BILL to 65532. Bill O'Reilly here. Thank you for watching this video. And make sure you subscribe to the First TV YouTube page. Just hit the big red subscribe button below and you'll get clips and highlights of my program, The No Spin News, every single day. We'll see you soon.